Welcome to this guide to recording your Google Meet video call. So welcome, once you've started a Meet video call, you'll have this kind of screen. And then in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the three dots. If you click on here, you have the option to record meeting. So if you click this, I click this now, it will ask you for consent, I accept that. And then you see this recording button in the top left hand corner. So you've got to wait for this to turn red before the recording starts. So obviously you can use this if you're in a live meeting. So this is now recording. Uh, so if you're in a live meeting, you can use this to record the meeting and then share that with others. Another great way of using it is to create video content for your students. So right now, if I wanted to, I could then present my screen. So I'm gonna present my entire screen, share this one. And now I'm going to go to my slideshow, for example, that I've created. And then I can talk my students through this, giving them instructions. One thing to think about when you're doing these kind of videos, though, is to make them short. For one, the file length will be too great if you make them too long, but also anything really more than five minutes and you're going to lose student interest. So do keep them short and to the point. Once you've finished, you can go back into your video conference stop presenting and then click on the dots again and click stop recording now once you've done this once you've done this it will take a little while for the video to be processed um, and once you've come to that point and it's been processed you will receive an email but you'll also see if you've done this for the first time a new folder created in your google drive that's called meet recordings so if I go in here, you'll see a file and the file names are pretty uh, obscure. So you might want to rename those before you share them as well. So it will take a little while. So you'll receive an email and it will go in your My Drive as well. Once you've got your video file, you can then share it with your students. So by going in the share option or sharing it via Google Classroom. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then do like it and if you've got any questions then do put them in the comments section below and I'll try and get back to you.